Google's Enterprise Data Warehouse, BigQuery, helps you analyze large-scale data and gain valuable insights from your data with ease. However, as your usage evolves and expands, you may be looking for opportunities to further optimize the performance of your workloads. This is where BigQuery Reservation comes to your rescue. BigQuery Reservation makes it easier and helps you manage your workloads efficiently by allowing you to tune how BigQuery allocates your compute resources. In this video, you'll learn how to use BigQuery Reservation within the flat rate pricing model to share committed capacity across the workloads and projects to optimize your workload efficiency. To begin, let's take a quick look at some of the concepts relevant to BigQuery Reservations and workload management. Slots are basically virtual CPUs or workers that are used by BigQuery to execute your jobs. Commitment is the amount of BigQuery compute capacity or a number of slots purchased for a particular duration of time. The more slots you purchase, the more concurrent queries you can run. Reservations is a mechanism that allows you to split the slots purchased into separate buckets and allocate them to individual projects or workloads. Assignments are used to assign one or more projects or folders to a reservation based on your needs. Keep in mind, if assignments are not created, slots will be shared automatically across the entire organization. Even with reservations and assignments in place, BigQuery continues to optimize resource utilization with its idle slot feature. This feature enables BigQuery jobs in a reservation to use any idle slots from other reservations. However, it is important to note that idle slots are preemptible, that is, if the original assigned reservation needs the capacity, the idle slots will be returned back immediately, and the job which were consuming those idle slots simply go back to using the resources from their own reservation. Here are a few details to keep in mind when designing how you use BigQuery reservations. Reservations cannot be shared with other organizations. Commitments purchased in one project can be shared with other projects but not moved to a different project. BigQuery jobs running in one reservation will use idle slots from other reservations by default. However, if you want to enforce a reservation to use only the idle slots assigned to it, then you can disable idle slot sharing by setting ignore idle slot flag to true. Alright, let's dive into an example of how reservations can help you manage your workloads. Let's say you have purchased a 3000 slot commitment. You can then allocate these slots to separate reservations aligned to your various workload needs. For example, create one reservation with 2000 slots and assign them to all projects for your data science workload. A second reservation with 500 slots for your ELT workload and a final reservation with 500 slots for your BI workloads. Now projects within each workload can use the slots assigned for the specific work. This structure helps you to prioritize slot reservation by reserving more slots for critical workloads while reserving fewer slots for non-critical workloads. Let's head into the BigQuery console and see this process in action. In the capacity management tab, I'll purchase a commitment of 3000 slots with flex commitment and preferred location as United States. Click next and confirm the purchase. You can now verify your purchase under slot commitments. Great, now I'll create a reservation for data science project with 2000 slots. You can check the unallocated slots under the capacity summary. Create an assignment for the data science project. Next, create another reservation and assign 500 slots each for ELT and BI workloads. Finally, I'll assign the projects to ELT and BI reservation. And that's it. We have successfully split up 3000 slots into three separate reservations. Now let's see how these slots in the reservation can be shared with the help of idle slot feature. Assume a scenario where a BigQuery job A is initiated at time T within the data science project. Initially, the job is utilizing the full 3000 slots reserved since all the slots were idle. Now what happens if a new job kicks in? Let's say a second BigQuery job B is initiated at time T plus 5 within the ELT project and the job requires 300 slots. And at T plus 10, 
A third BigQuery job, C, is initiated within the BI project and requires 200 slots. BigQuery automatically manages the capacity each time by pulling back the slots reserved for ELT and BI projects respectively and reallocating the slots to jobs B and C. The individual units of work in job A are gracefully paused and are resumed as the slots become free. Note that this reservation arrangement ensures that at a given point, no one job consumes all the available slots and guarantees that the slots are provided as per the demand. To learn more about BigQuery reservation and how to manage workloads more efficiently, refer to the below documentation. Thank you for watching.